All right, it's day 767. The runner tip is progressing nicely. It's greening and it's unfolding. It's clearly differentiating and I'll show you a few close-up looks later. But for the meantime, the parent plant is doing okay. It doesn't seem to be thriving. I can't really tell if it's growing. It has a small leaf that's uh, dying off, which is a natural process, or it could just be suffering from transplant shock. But I sprayed everything on my balcony, all my plants with spectricide, triazicide, pyrethrin analogs. Pyrethrins are a class of organic insecticides that come from chrysanthemum flowers. They've been known to kill insects for thousands of years. So the parent plant may be suffering from transplant shock. It's too early to tell that leaf is dying. And the runner, which has a few inches of length, at least it's 10 centimeters long, if not longer. As I recall, it's doing quite well. So it's day 777, and you can see a second leaf dying. The runner is doing better than ever. It has all the makings of a baby sentry plant. So I suppose if you encounter a century plant in your local landscaping in the southwest United States or somewhere else, you could just break off one of those adventitious shoots. You'll often see a lot of adventitious shoots growing at the base of a car-sized century plant. And they're not going to let those grow to fruition anyway. In landscaping, they just transplant um, maybe every year even if uh, it sends out inflorescence and dies after a showy, spectacular show of bloom. So a second leaf is dying off. That's okay because it's mostly covered by the leaves above it anyway. It wasn't receiving much sunlight. They do have leaves that die off after a while. Even though I've raised the elevation of everything, it's quite ironic that there was bottom two small leaves that were once stuck against the wet mud all the time and now receive more light. They're dying right now instead of long ago. But I think those smaller leaves that were half buried were on their way to being expendable and discarded by the plant a long time ago. So I don't think I'd change much, but I would be very worried if some of the bigger leaves that were very functional started dying as well. And over the next few weeks, we'll see what degree of transplant shock the parent plant has experienced. So at this point this plant growing series is just an experiment to see what kind of transplant shock the parent plant will experience in the coming weeks and how this runner will develop and possibly grow into an, an independent plant. It looks like it already is. There's a seedling there. I don't know if that's soak thistle or not. I don't think so but I'm just gonna pull it before it gets too big. So this series will be winding up after a few weeks or a few months possibly. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me grow, possibly another cacti or succulent, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.